Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing about sunscreens. The ones that I currently have and that I love and ones that work amazing under makeup. As you know, it's really hard to find a sunscreen on the market that is gonna work great under your makeup and the four that I'm gonna show you today, I'm telling you, they work perfectly under makeup. So if you're interested in seeing which ones those are and what I have to say about them, then keep on watching. Okay, so. I have four sunscreens that I'm going to share with you all. They're all different SPFs. A lot of them have different zinc oxide percentages. So I'm going to start with the least SPF and I'm going to work my way up to the highest SPF that I have currently right beside me. So the first product that I'm going to share with you, and I have mentioned it before in my Drunk Elephant review, the Umber Sheer Physical Defense by Drunk Elephant. I did do a review on all the Drunk Elephant products that I currently use and this was one of them that I mentioned in that video so if you're interested in seeing what I have to say about a lot of the drunk elephant products I will link the video below for you so that you can go and check it out but because this video is all about sunscreen I'm gonna put, talk about this and move on so this is like I said from drunk elephant it has a 20% zinc oxide which is absolutely amazing you can't really find a lot of sunscreens with that much zinc oxide in it and when I say zinc oxide when you look for a sunscreen you definitely want to look for zinc oxide, especially when you're looking for a face sunscreen. Now, there is a lot of products on the market that just have the titanium dioxide, but the ones that I'm going to show you, they all have zinc oxide in it, and that is going to help protect your face even more than just a sunscreen with just the titanium dioxide. So again, um, this is a greasier sunscreen. Say it's greasy, you're probably thinking, okay, Ashley, like, why the hell would I put a greasy sunscreen on my face and then go and put my foundation on and then have a greased face all day long? I'm telling you, for some reason, I don't know what it is, when you put it on your face, it does look greasy, it looks shiny, it's a little bit sticky, but if you leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes before you go ahead and put your foundation on, once you have all your makeup on your face, for some reason, it doesn't look greasy. It just like seeps into your skin, it absorbs, and it just looks beautiful once it's all done. So if you have to, and you're somebody with like super oily skin, you can powder up and I think you would probably be good to go for the whole day. But I don't have a problem when I put this on and put all of my makeup on and go on with my day, whether it's the winter time or summertime, I never have a problem. It just looks great on my face and my makeup stays in place all day. Like this is a great makeup base. Um, a lot of sunscreens aren't and the ones that I'm gonna show you, they're all great under makeup. So you don't have to worry about having your makeup kind of slip and slide all day long. This is not going to do that. It's going to make your makeup stay in place. Um, it's fragrance free and it's it's just a great product. This is my second tube of this and I just think this product is so nice. It's vegan as well just like the rest of the Drunk Elephant line and it's really gentle on the face. It doesn't break me out and it's good for all skin types. So this product is really great if you want a higher zinc oxide ingredient in it and it is an SPF 30. There is nothing higher in the Drunk Elephant line so SPF 30 is still pretty good especially if you have a foundation that has an SPF in it as well. You're getting like a double whammy so definitely look into this one because it's a really great sunscreen. Okay so the next two sunscreens I'm going to share with you are both from the same brand. One is tinted, one is not, and one has a higher SPF than the other one. So the one I'm going to share right now is tinted and it has an SPF of 41 and it's by Elta MD Skincare. It is lightly tinted, chemical free, oil free with antioxidants, and it's also a transparent zinc oxide with sensitive skin. Now this is formulated for people who have super sensitive skin. I don't have super sensitive skin but that is amazing to have a product that is very gentle on the face so if you are somebody with really sensitive skin then this is going to be probably the sunscreen for you. It's super gentle, it is fragrance free and this one also does not break me out. It goes on so nice and smooth and 
your makeup also stays in place all day. This one is actually a better makeup base than I would say the Drunk Elephant is because it's tinted and not only that, it's not greasy at all and it's not super drying either. It's kind of like a really nice even balance in this sunscreen. Now you can see here that it just has a little bit of a color payoff and when you rub it into your skin, um, it just blends right in. It doesn't give you much color at all so if you're some Somebody that has a really clear face and you have no blemishes or past acne marks this may be all you need to put on your face but you definitely still gonna need to put a foundation over top for coverage it's not gonna give you um, a coverage at all just using the sunscreen but it evens out everything really nicely it hides a little bit of redness but the redness will definitely not go away this one here has a zinc oxide of 9.0 percent and the titanium dioxide is 7.0 percent so the zinc oxide is definitely lower in this one than the drunk elephant one but this one is really nice and not only that it is a three fluid ounce as well and the drunk elephant was also three fluid ounces so you're getting a lot of product in these bottles um, it will last a really long time as well and for this one here you wouldn't have to wait 15 minutes before you put your foundation on because this one is not super greasy and it's not super mattifying it's like a nice happy medium so I would just say leave it on your face for a couple of minutes once you've applied it and then put your foundation on so you don't have to wait as long to put your foundation and your makeup on when you're using this product but if you're looking for something that is really great under makeup that is not greasy and not super drying to the face I would highly recommend this sunscreen the next one I'm going to share with you again is also by L to MD skincare and it is the UV clear broad spectrum SPF 46 and it looks like this with a little cap on the top here with a little pump. Um, this one here is a zinc oxide of 9.0% and oxinoxate of 7.5%. So this one here um, actually has vitamin B3 in it. It calms and protects acne prone skin. Um, amazing. High purity of niacinamide, which also helps with hydration and acne. And it's transparent zinc oxide for UVA, UVB protection, obviously. And the skin type is for acne prone skin. Now, I have acne prone skin. I wouldn't say that I'm somebody who breaks out a lot, but I definitely get hormonal acne along my jawline and my chin. The odd time I will get it on my cheeks. And this is super great for people who have acne prone skin. I'm telling you, it definitely does work. Now I do have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with this. And the reason being is if you put too much skincare products on your face in the morning, let's say you're doing like three different serums, you're doing an oil or you're doing like a moisturizer, all those skincare products on your face doesn't go well with the sunscreen. I have a, a special technique that I do in the morning. I follow it pretty regularly every single day and when I use this, this sunscreen I have to cut back on some of those skincare products. Your foundation and your sunscreen will pill if you put too much skincare products on your face. And what I mean about that is I'll wash, cleanse, I'll tone, I will then put some serums on and maybe I'll skip the oil but I'll put my moisturizer on. I always let everything sit for a good 20 minutes before I even put foundation on or a sunscreen. And as soon as you start rubbing or patting or whatever you do to apply your sunscreen, this starts to roll off and pill all over your face. I was so disappointed. I thought like what the hell is going on? It took me a long time to figure out that Ashley, you're putting way too much skincare products on and this is why it's peeling off. But then I thought, well, I never have this problem with any other sunscreen, so why is it with this? And I don't I don't know why. I can't tell you why. That may not happen to you, but I find that if I don't remember to cut back on some of my skincare products when I use this, I go through that experience every single time. It is so annoying. So I definitely have to maybe do one serum, my, my moisturizer, and done, and that's it. And when I do that, I do not have a problem when I put this sunscreen on. So it's like a love-hate relationship with this. I can't use all the skincare products that I want to use, 
but it's a great sunscreen. It goes on really nicely. Your makeup stays in place all day with this sunscreen, and it's really great. Like I said, it has a cap, it has a pump. The other ones are just a squeeze tube type packaging. This one does have a little pump at the top here, and it does have a little bit of a scent. This one actually does. It's nothing too strong. It's nothing um, like it's gonna give you a headache, but there is a slight scent to it, and I can't tell you exactly what kind of smell it is. It kind of smells a little bit floral, but I don't know. But I don't mind it. It's not gross, and I actually don't mind that. So that's a bonus because, as you know, a lot of sunscreens can be really gross smelling um, and really strong. This is a very light scent to it, and it doesn't bother me at all. Of course, you can smell it once you put it on your face, but throughout the day, that smell goes away. It does help with my acne. Actually, I had a couple of um, acne spots on my cheeks when I first started using this like maybe a year ago and for some reason I was using the sunscreen every single day and it actually made my acne go away so I think with the niacinamide in it it's helping of uh, removing like eliminating the acne that I had on my face and help heal it quicker than using something that doesn't have the niacinamide in it so um, I really love that about this product again it's an SPF 46 and this one has has, it's not a three ounce it's actually smaller it's a 1.7 ounce product so you are getting less product in this than you are with the other two that I showed you but if you do have acne prone skin this is worth it I'm telling you it's definitely worth it to give it a go and it's not too expensive either okay so the last product that I'm gonna share with you is one of my all-time favorites I would rank this one a 10 out of my sunscreens I absolutely love it it's tin and it is the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion Non-Greasy Antioxidant Rich UVA UVB with a broad spectrum of an SPF 50 which I love. If I can find a sunscreen that works amazing with my skincare and my makeup routine and that it has a high SPF that is a win in my books. I always try and look for sunscreens that have a really high SPF but of course sometimes you can't but then there's other better ingredients in it like a higher zinc oxide that kind of balances it out and makes it even better so with this one here it's water resistant and like I said it's tinted it has a titanium dioxide of 4% and a zinc oxide of 4% so it's definitely a lower zinc oxide than the other three that I showed you but it does have a higher SPF so it does have a really good balance there it's all so hypoallergenic and it has no animal testing it's fragrance free and is amazing under makeup I'm telling you it's actually way better than the L to MD tinted sunscreen that I showed you this one here is gives a little bit more color payoff as well so I actually will wear this one by itself on days that I don't really want to wear makeup, on a really hot day that I just feel like not wearing anything on my face but definitely wearing a sunscreen with some coverage. This is going to do it. It gives more color payoff than the L to MD and I will show you as best I can here on camera. It's um, not as thick as the L to MD one. It's a little bit more watery. Um, but I love that. I love that it has a little bit more hydration to it. And I don't know, I don't even think it's really picking it up. I don't think I put enough here. It's, I think it's a little bit lighter in color than the L to MD, but um, for some reason it just gives more payoff and it's a little bit, I guess it's gotta be a little bit thicker, but it doesn't feel thicker when you put it on your face. So you just rub it in and it definitely evens out your skin really nicely. It's a great makeup base, like I said, and your makeup stays in place all day. But these four products that I've showed you, your makeup stays in place and lasts all day. And I think that is super important when you're looking for a sunscreen, and these four sunscreens are gonna do it for you. So you really can't go wrong with either one of these sunscreens. They're all gonna make your makeup last all day. So this one here is not greasy, like it says, it definitely isn't, and it's a little bit more mattifying than the L to MD tinted sunscreen. 
it's um, it's a little bit more um, of a mattifying look, which I'm okay with because I know once I put my foundations on that have a little bit more of a dewy finish, it will give me that dewy look throughout the day. But if you're somebody that likes matte foundation, you're going to want to get this one because it's a matte sunscreen with a matte foundation and you're just going to have the most flawless foundation. The finish is going to be super nice. This is probably the least expensive out of the other three. You could actually put this one on and then put your foundation on right afterwards. There's no wait period in between your foundation and applying this. Because this goes on so nice and it gives more of a matte finish, you don't have to wait a couple of minutes to do your foundation or your makeup, which makes this a really great product. So if you're in a really big hurry and you got to be somewhere really quick and you want to put your sunscreen on and your foundation or whatever you need to put on this is a super quick product to put on your face because there's no wait time which I really like and I need that if you have super oily skin this is also going to be great and if you're somebody that likes matte skin matte foundation this is also a great product to have in your skincare routine. Those are the four products that I wanted to share with you today. They're actually the only four sunscreens that I own for the face. I like to keep repurchasing the ones that I really love and that works for my skincare routine and my beauty routine. And I'm always looking for new sunscreens. I love trying them out, especially now when I'm using a retinol and I'm using products that make my skin more sensitive to the sun. Sunscreen is a big, part of my skincare routine. So I'm always on the hunt for new sunscreens, but these are the four that I absolutely love and that work wonders for my face. And I'm pretty confident that it's gonna work for your face too. At least one of these will be a really good option. So anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in my next video. So take care, bye.